Oh, um, my question was prompted by um, Yvonne's talk. Um, I was interested that you monitor yourself with the little kit. Um, my INRs are all over the place, always. Um, I'm having them done or fortnightly, and I have been doing for three and a half years now. I was told that with antiphospholipid syndrome, you can't have the finger prick test. It has to be venous bloods. Yes, I've been told that too. <laughs> so I'm getting jabbed in the arm every week or every fortnight. Um, I go two or three times a year to my local anticoagulation clinic. Um, I've been going there regularly for 14 years, so the specialist nurse knows me very well, and she trusts me. Maybe not always wisely, but she does. To, to I, I'm sensible with monitoring, um, and I uh, I go with my coagulocheck excess machine, and she does a venous sample, and I do a pinprick test uh, while I'm there, and then the next day after she sent it to the lab, and gets the results and rings me, and it's always point two difference hardly anything at all and while it continues to be that i will continue to self-manage if a warford clinic don't do venous tests right are they doing the pinprick test <laughs> the as well pinprick yeah because so they've I all, have to go they've to the hospital covered. path lab yeah well this the, is where i go yeah. this is where i go to her and in I don't, the path I, i've never actually seen a nurse apart from my first visit they okay i mean this adults. this is <laughs> Uh, part of the problem of the management yeah. of anticoagulation, and I may be speaking out of turn, but what this lady in front here was saying about the access to rehabilitation is the same problems access to support yeah. with anticoagulation. And, you know, you hear horror stories of people wanting to self-monitor and the nurses in their clinic say, go and do it, we're not having anything to do with it. And there are issues around the test strips, you know, when people say to me, oh, is it worth getting a machine? And I said, well, it is, but check with your doctor first, because the CCGs in some areas, Surrey, Rhea, are refusing to allow the test strips to be prescribed, even though they're on prescription. It's a real hit and miss job, same with rehabilitation. Some areas have got terrific neuro community services, others haven't. Uh, why I get the prescription f uh, for my test strips from my GP. No, I mean self-prescribing your orphan dose. Yeah, I do. I adjust it myself. Yeah. Because I've just been doing that. Right. And the argument was that if you change it too often, this comes from Mrs. Thomas, if you change it too often, it's more likely that you're See, I'm I'm lucky because I've got a medical training, so oh, I right. so I kind of know what my parameters are, yeah. and it doesn't. It's not for everybody. I know so that. Yeah, there are problems. It is a problem. Can I, can I say, it's like I, I had a nightmare trying to get any self-testing from my doctors, they refused it. Um, so I actually bought myself my own self-tester and strips. Uh, I know you can get them on prescription, I was able to afford that. And when I go for a venous test, it's like I actually take one on my, my machine just before that, so I know whether they're within range of each other. Um, but I actually refuse to allow just to up and down my warfarin all the time because different doctors are coming on and diagnosing how much you should have uh, and, and changing your warfarin dose. So I've found it's actually just, look, if it's gone up, let me just eat a plate of broccoli. It's like, oh, give me a plate of broccoli, and I'll just I'll manage it, I'll bring it down. And it settles out more with bringing it down through diet yeah. than it does up and down in the dose and changing the yeah. dose all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Could we get just, um, somebody else? Yeah, just um, following on from that. So I've also started self-testing at home um, and also had a, well, actually quite easy to get that done uh, through, but uh, I'm prescribed 12 strips a year I can get through the NHS, which is a bit silly, but anyway, it ends up expensive. 